Welcome back. Dedicated to addressing challenges facing Bronx residents, the organization Bronx Works now offers a large number of job openings to support the community. Their mission is to provide learning opportunities that can potentially lead to successful long-term careers for many Bronx sites. Vice President of Human Resources at Bronx Works, Felicia Ricketts Samuels, joins me now to discuss these new opportunities. Felicia, thank you so much for joining me. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, I'm aware of Bronx Works because we had the pleasure of, you know, doing, you know, a few events um, at the space. But for those who don't know, can you just explain, you know, what is Bronx Works and its overall mission? Bronx Works is a community-based organization that is focused on sustaining lives as it relates to um, folks who are struggling with housing, with food insecurity. We provide a litany of services from the southern region of the Bronx to the most northern part of the Bronx. We're located in every community in the Bronx. So we definitely believe in giving back to the borough of the Bronx. Now, uh, as you mentioned, your organization remains very active in the Bronx. And so that's why, you know, myself and probably many others have the privilege of kind of understanding and seeing some of the work that you do. What are some of the ways your organization supports the Bronx residents? So can you just give us some examples of things that you've done, you know, probably over the year, uh, just to give us a little bit more insight about the work that you do? They do an annual um, giving back to families. We have food pantries. We're always providing services to the children in the neighborhood. We offer um, after-school programming, so people are very well versed about what Bronx Works does. We are really a, an agency that believes in giving back. We have immigration services, the legal services. So we have a wide spread of what we do as far as giving back. We have a senior center, multiple senior centers. So we are cultivating seniors and activities and community outreach. We, op we also have opportunities where we are able to work with people very closely on career job readiness do workforce development services here in the Bronx, and we also do tax services. So there's a wide way of, range of services that we actually provide. Now, I'm so glad that you mentioned that because I think that was like maybe the one thing that I didn't know about Bronx Works is that you help, you know, with career readiness. Um, and I think that's pretty amazing. Uh, so that kind of leads into, you know, my next topic of how, how, you know, right now obtaining employment can be a challenge for many people. Can you just talk about this struggle, and, you know, and how it may affect uh, Bronx residents? I think that I, w I want folks to know that a part of your career pathing is understanding your passion to be in human services. You can take someone who's retired um, and they want to come back to the workforce. They have a skill set that's unmatched. We want to tap into those skills by figuring out what your passions are, what population you want to serve. Is it with children? Is it with adults? Is it with housing? Is it with seniors? Where are you best suited to work at? And I think there are folks in the Bronx who have a huge skill set that has not been tapped into. So Bronx Works, we're looking to bring in people who are passionate about working with folks who look like you, folks who understand the struggles of being in the Bronx and knowing that we're a vibrant borough. Now, you said something that I think is so important. It's folks that look like you. Yes. Can you just talk about, you know, the importance of that type of representation, um, especially in a field where you're doing things that are like services, you know, very sensitive topics for a lot of people. You know, what is the importance of having people from your community help those within the community? You know, we look at this as a neighboring conversation, the folks who live next to you, black and brown folks who are born and bred in the Bronx, people who understand the neighborhoods, they understand the culture, um, food culture, uh, culture around music and theater. I think that if people understand where you come from, you have a way to talk to them where they understand you can meet them where they are. You understand where their families come from and the struggles that brought them here. We're a melting pot in the Bronx. I think that if you understand people, you can come into a, a place like Bronx where and really find your footing right. and find a way to grow. And, and I think it, it helps make people feel a little bit more comfortable, yes. you know, in these sensitive, you know, times of their lives. So I think that's amazing. And I definitely wanted to highlight that. Uh, now, as mentioned, you know, Bronx Works aims to mitigate the, the issue of, you know, maybe uh, the lack of employment that so many people are facing with several job opportunities within the organization, um, which I think is also very interesting that it's within the organization um, and not just sending people out just to fulfill a job. So can you just talk a little bit more about those opportunities um, and you know how it's actually within the organization? We have a workforce development department that helps folks in the community and we also partner with them for career fairs, large ones where my team in HR comes out with other folks in program to make sure we're soliciting folks who are interested in this level of work. We're looking for case managers, folks in social work, teachers, youth workers, safety monitors, intake specialists, folks who understand that this work is important. 
and that a part of what you do is not simply a nine to five job. This is about giving passion to folks who look like you, meeting them where they are, being relatable, and not just talking about the job, talking about the career behind the job. And where can people actually find access to those postings or learn a little bit more about those positions? Um, BronxWorks.org is our regular standard website, but we are posted um, throughout social media, you know, LinkedIn, of course, Facebook. We have a huge social media presence. And we also, you can find us at all the career fairs and schools and other community-based organization events. Now, what I think is so important that I really want to highlight is all the positions that you mentioned, they sound like positions uh, that are, you know, can lead to long-term careers. And so often when we talk about employment, people uh, tend to just give out just jobs, right? And there's a difference between just having a job and having a career that, you know, can actually lead to growth. Can you just talk about that and why it was important to kind of have something um, that would lead to something that's a little bit more long-term as opposed to maybe a short-term solution? Bronx Works, we are a full life cycle organization. There are folks who come to us um, straight out of high school as youth workers, work their way up, and they may become an advocate of some sort. They may go back to school to become a teacher or a teacher assistant. So we believe in the full life cycle of career pathing. We don't sell jobs, we sell opportunities. So when someone comes into an organization like Bronx Wars, we're expecting them to be a part of a larger mission. So we want to understand what their needs are, what their concerns are, where they see themselves in 10 years, 15 years. We have folks here who have been here at the ABC for 25, 30 years, and they started here maybe as a program assistant. Now they're a director of social services. So again, we believe in cultivating folks, um, providing guidance around that, mentorship and coaching around how you get to the next level in your career. And Bronx Sports can offer that. And I also want to highlight that it's entry-level positions, which I know for anybody looking for a job, sometimes that is the hardest thing to find um, because sometimes there's just not often that many entry-level positions. Usually when you're looking for a job, you know, they want a director or a manager. And, you know, you know starting out and where you begin is so important. Can you just talk about a little bit, you know, those entry-level positions and, you know, having that opportunity available to anybody, you know, who qualifies for them? I like the word point of entry. Point of entry is when someone who's enthusiastic about getting into human services will take on, say, a, a safety monitor job as a security person, get their certification. They may become a fire guard later or a manager or a supervisor, but their point of entry is coming in, understand that they are looking to give back in this capacity. You're not here for the money. You're here for career growth and the passion around how you help others. So I think that for our openings, we do have point of entry positions but we look at them as a way to enter into a career path so we can set you up for success, not failure. Now, who is eligible for these positions and how they can apply and how can they apply? I also know, like, are there any educational requirements or any experience that is needed? Can you just talk a little bit more about those type of details? Well, some of the jobs will ask for a bachelor's degree in human services, social work or psychology for case management. Some don't need that. Some need more life experience or an associate's degree. Some jobs require a high school diploma and or a GED or life experience. I think that what we bring to the table is the fact that we're a person or people who are looking to change how things, you know, how things are positioned around case management. If we understand we're working with a family who is struggling, how to make them feel comfortable to talk to us, that's a life skill. That's not an education, that's a life skill. Right. Being able to ask people how they're feeling about things, to meet them where they are, I think that the one thing we do really well at Bronze Wars is take someone's skills and match them to the right job. Now that's actually going to lead into my next question. What are some tips people can use to find out what career path or position is right for them? Uh, because I know that people may have an idea of like what they want to do, um, and then they realize maybe this is not the path they should have taken. So you know, what tips would you give to somebody who's kind of still struggling with that? I think that what I would say to a person, please ask questions. I think that we should not lean on our own understanding about what we think a job would entail. I think you can see a job posting, but there's always more to it than what's written. You wanna make sure you have the skills, knowledge, and abilities to do the job, and also the, the courage to step out on faith sometimes about what you're looking to do in your career. I think that there are young folks out there who are enthusiastic about getting involved with youth services. They should explore those opportunities with their counselor, their mentors, their coaches, their college professors, and they should also look at, you know, look on things, look online to figure out what people are doing. 
ask some questions, reach out. Right, because people have ideas of like what it takes to work in these in these fields and because you know they may be new to it, they don't know. Uh, so I definitely wanted to highlight like, maybe you should like do a little bit of research and you know, figure out what you're doing before you jump into it. So I think that's great. Now, Bronx Works, as we've talked about, you know, throughout the entire interview has done so much. So how can people support the Bronx Works mission? I think they should support by going to the website and possibly volunteering, doing some community service work. We, we also, of course, we're always looking for donations, but I think it's more about donating your time to figure out how you can help your neighborhood where you're from in the Bronx and how you support an organization that has been around a long time. We recently had a birthday. We're 50 years old, so I'm really excited about that. We've been celebrating all year. It's a big, you know, we're, we're definitely a footprint in the neighborhood. We're a footprint in the, in the global landscape of New York City. Bronx is not going anywhere fast. Right. during a long time. Right, and 50 years is pretty amazing, yeah. you know, just in the little bit of time that I've seen, you know, some of the work that Bronx Works has done, I could only imagine, you know, how the impact it's had on the community for over 50 years. So I want to say congratulations to that. Thank I think you. that's, you know, amazing. And it's just so wonderful to see some of the work that you're doing. Um, so, you know, I truly appreciate you coming here and having this conversation. Um, and I, I, you know, I appreciate learning a little bit more about Bronx Works. So thank you thank for you. having me. Of course. If you are interested in any of the opportunities to work with Bronx Works, please go to their website at www.bronxworks.org. And don't forget to follow them on social media at Bronx Works. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more open right after this.